Hello, I'm Jason. This is Braving the Outdoors. So we're going to be talking about stuff you'd have and like going out to the woods or like, you know, just going out with your friends and groups, you know, it's just some little things to take with you. Just So this is like what I would bring. It's more up to you, but this is just me giving you an idea so you know the basics and you know what to take. So first of all, you'll have a jumper in case it's cold. Shove it on, keep it getting warm, take it off. There you go, so you will put that in your bag. So this is a multi-tool, use it for anything. Eating, it's got multiple stuff, fork, tiny spoon for making tea, I guess, or something along that line. You've got a big spoon, you've got a screwdriver, you've got a knife, uh, sanitizer, and uh, wipes. These are not COVID, these are just in general what you'd have just in case, you know, you get mud on your hands, you're planning on eating, you don't want to be eating with mud on your hands, do you? This, um, which is a battery pack, solar panel, battery pack, and it doesn't take up much room and you'd keep this just in case like when your mates or you fall, your phone's low, or just in general if your phone's low and you need your battery pack, you need your battery, this will help Yeah, and it doesn't take up much room. Then we got a notepad and a pen or pencil, whatever one you prefer, but you take this for, you know, just describing what you see, writing a little poem, just, just doing anything you really want with it, um, and doesn't take up much room, hardly any. So this is small power cord, which you could use for anything, uh, tying something to the tree, maybe not, maybe tying something to the ground, like your tent or just you know something so then we've got pegs and you're probably wondering why would you want pegs in your bag well these can actually be handy for tents hammocks you know and you keep keeping them in your bag in general in case you've you know you have tent pegs but you forgot them for some real weird reason you've got backups we've got a first aid kit you wouldn't really want a biggie like this but this is just just to show that you need a first aid kit and you would wonder why. Well, let's say you're running, you trip, you hurt your leg, whatever. You need to clean it or your friends fell. You've got a small one like this or a big one like this, but I'd say a small one. But if you've got a big one, you wouldn't really want to keep this in your bag if you're going to school or, you know, you've got a trip planned and you don't really, you've got another one or something. Don't, you've got bags because you don't really want to make a mess, do you? No. You want to make the environment look clean. Or make it cleaner. You know, just go out your way, just pick up a bit of rubbish. Help the environment. It's good to hear. So we've got a uh, poncho, which this is very good for uh, putting, say, raining, snowing. It's good to put on over your bag if you've got a big bag. And you can also use this to sit on in a shelter. It's got pictures on the back. You might not be able to see, but you can use them for that well use it for that you don't really need to wear it and you can keep it in your bag and you've got gloves gloves will keep you warm and protected but you want to be protected in case you cut your hand you want to keep gloves on you they might not help to save you from cutting your hand but they might you never know and they take pretty much no room up so we've got a hammock this goes in between two trees and you could sleep on it, put your stuff in it. Let's say you need your bag for something else like wood or I don't know, whatever you want. It's up to you. But, you know, make sure it is two trees because one tree isn't really what you want because then poor Jimmy learned the hard way. Let's not, we don't talk about that. So then you've got a tarp. Uh, the tarp can be used for a lot of things, mostly for sitting on or shelters, which say you're eating, you got this bad boy to help you. This is a bit big, and yes, this does take up a decent amount of space, but you just crunch it up like that, and you put it in the bag, which might be a bit of a struggle, but you know, you need to get out exercise, so this could help you a bit. Right, so then you've got your torch, which, you know, why would you want a torch? But I'm here to tell you that. Torch, say it's night time. They just knew, but let's say it is. You've got a torch, turn it on, you can't really see it. But, you know, say if you see a lion or a tiger or something, 
this could help you see it, which you probably wouldn't have, but let's just say you would. And it can help you for, you know, pegs and stuff, putting them in, you know. So then we've got a lamp. Uh, you could take this. Uh, it's better because in it, torch only points where you want it to point. This can go all around, help you a bit. So see, this, this is for sitting on, as you can tell. Um, so what you do is, well, I'm not going to show you how you sit down. That's up to you. But this will help you for sitting down. Or if you're doing work and, you know, on a bench, your hands are uncomfortable, you can sit and do your work. And, and then we've got S. This is just a backup for a tent, whatever you want to use it for. Um, that's pretty much it. You don't want to put... There's, this is not everything you would take, obviously. You wouldn't want to take a beach ball or something. You could, but you'd have to empty your entire pack. Or near a couch, especially near a couch. But you could, if you wanted to. But uh, this is what you might take. Um, you know, if you're going to adventures, you're going up hills, you're going to see dragons, whatever, right? This is Jason, and you just witnessed Raven's Dive.